Hey, hi there, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your monthly reading, August 2019, for money and finance and career. Virgo, this is a condensed, predictive, general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. And remember to check out that description box below. Thanks, you guys. After the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Virgo. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards. Just for you. Your first card. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background and something that's already flowing into the past. We've got a past card here. The Six of Cups. Cups always representing the emotions. This is happy memories. It's looking back and being nostalgic. There's affection here. And you'll need to be open for nurturing. This is an emotional conversation that's connected to your past that will shed light on your future. These are childhood memories and innocence and friendliness. And you can brighten the day of another with small gestures of kindness. This is becoming childlike again and resolving bad childhood experiences by returning to a childlike openness and joy. And take an opportunity as it presents itself to cast off old feelings and fulfill important wishes. This could be digging up missing aspects of our rich store of past experiences. There may be someone around that does not wish to get their fingers dirty. Possibly a fear of some truths coming out about one's own childhood and origins. This is a blooming spiritual experience. Could be a meeting with an old friend or an old lover. Something with roots in the past may be reconsidered. And that past efforts may be present or future rewards. Second card. And this is the energy that's crossing over your path. Number 10 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Wheel of Fortune. This card is represented by the four elements, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus. They're the fixed signs. They're the guides. They guide us on to the next phase of our lives. They're the fixed signs. They hold steady towards the inevitable. This is a good omen. This is a karmic card full of hope. It's an unexpected course of events. Something is happening or it's going to happen and it will benefit you could be a surprise, and you have no control over these circumstances. Life is giving you a gift, and you must make the choice to accept what is offered, even if you don't understand it. And now your third card. This is how it affects you. It's your attitude. Number two of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the High Priestess. This can be a Pisces or a Cancer. This are hidden influences and secret knowledge. This is female energy. It is passive. It's the link between the seen and the unseen. It's latent power to manifest before a period of gestation that's before a new life. It has to do with divine truth and wisdom and nurturing the spark of creation. This can be a quiet woman. It's better when it's, t t it's t right now it's a time it's better to sit still and seek peace within yourself and seek awareness and be still. This is someone that's holding a scroll, scroll and that represents the Akashic Records. That's the divine repository of our lives, past, present, and future. There's something yet to be revealed. It's hidden or interior and it's preparing to come forth. Or you may need to pay more attention to your inner world of dreams, imagination, and intuition. This can be our secret selves longing to be recognized. This is tuning into your inner voice and spiritual awareness. A spiritual revelation is about to happen. You may actually see the solution to a problem. And next to the wheel, it represents these are events beyond human understanding. It can be regular changes in mood or the weather is influence events and feelings. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Two of Swords, Virgo. This is air energy. Air energy always representing the thoughts and the mind. This is your second two in the layout, which represents a chord. And the Two of Swords represents 
indecision and stalemate and standstill, postponed decisions being in a stasis. This could be a stressful decision. You'll need to seek more information and look honestly at a change that needs to be made. Ask questions. You need more facts. And contemplate your options. This is something that's unresolved. It's striving to be objective. It's suspended judgment. Embracing paradox and mulling things over. You're avoiding a premature decision. Be compromising or staying mentally balanced amid change. This can be denying of truth of something. It could be ignorance or denial. It would cause you to be stuck in a circular emotional pattern. It's a situation of t- tension and being at a crossroads with another person. And using courage can get you out of a situation. That... And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Ace of Pentacles, Virgo. Earth energy. Aces are always new beginnings. Pentacles, also called diamonds or discs, represent money and fortune and trade. It's the suit of the merchants. This is a Ace of Pentacles. is prosperity. It's a healthy beginning. A gift from the universe. This is great, you guys. This is new money and new success and a new opportunity. It's the beginning of gain and pleasure and beauty. A seed to be nurtured. This is an opportunity for real growth. It's the beginning of a new project. A chance to improve your health. Or a gift you can use to invest in future gain. And you can benefit and find inspiration and joy by going into nature. This is a great time to start improving your home or begin building the foundation for the future. And spend time in nature and you'll find that fresh inspiration. Do not overlook this gift. It must be nurtured to come to fruition. You're about to experience some great accomplishment. And now your advice from the Oracle deck. Trust your vibes. A powerful toolkit for awakening your sixth sense. By Sonia Choquette. And Virgo, you've got Aura Cleanse. Card number 32, Aura Cleanse. The toxic buildup of psychic pollution that comes from living in today's world is dimming your awareness and lowering your energy. Don't worry, it's nothing serious, but it is time to find your direction once again and return to flowing in good vibes by taking an aura cleansing bath. Your guides say you need an occasional cleansing to calm your soul. My favorite spiritual bath is a lavender essence and Epsom salt bath. Add one cup of Epsom salts to ten drops of lavender to a tub of warm water and soak away the world for 20 minutes. The salts purify your vibration and the lavender balances it. Luxuriate with your eyes closed while concentrating on all your positive qualities. Imagine everything that disturbs you lifting off and washing away. Pray for your healing angels and guides to clear all negativity and release all energetic cords and attachments to others, leaving you to soak in peace. You'll know when the bath is over, you'll suddenly feel relaxed and peaceful as though everyone is out of the pool when it comes to your energy field. Do this at least once a month to maintain your good vibes or any time you feel overwhelmed and can't stop thinking or worrying about life. Virgo, here's your take note moment. We should all know the difference between feeling gratitude and appreciation versus feeling an attachment to something. Appreciation and gratitude are states of pure love, while attachment contains fear, fear of losing or not having what you are attached to. If you are feeling afraid that you will not get what you want or losing what you have, that is attachment. To remove attachment, continue to shift yourself into a state of appreciation and gratitude until you feel the fear is gone. Thanks, Virgo. More next time, so I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks so much for watching.